Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. You may be already upgraded to iPod 16 beta, but you may want to downgrade due to usability or stability issues. So in today's video I will show you how to properly downgrade to iPad OS 15.7 without losing data. First thing first, you need to back you your iPad. Connect your iPad to the computer. Open iTunes. Now we're going to back up iPad to this computer. Click back up now. Wait for the backup process over. Once done, you can start to downgrade. Download Rayboot. This is a very powerful iOS repair tool, which can fix more than 150 iOS system issue, including downgrading iOS system. Check out the download link in description below. Connect your device to computer. Open Reiboot. Click downgrade iOS here. Then we have standard downgrade and deep downgrade. Here you need to select deep downgrade. Standard downgrades are only supported across minor versions, like from 15.7 to 15.6. Deep downgrade is supported across major versions, like from 16 to 15. Click downgrade. Reibu will automatically fetch the iOS 15.7 firmware. Click download. The download process will not be long, depending on your network condition. Be patient. Since we had backed it up before, we just click confirm. Reiboot will start to downgrade your iOS system. You need to wait for a little while. Please be patient and do not disconnect your iPad during the process. Then it is done. You can see, your iPad is back to the settings pages. Here I'll skip the unimportant part and then show how to restore the backed up data. If you want to restore your data from iCloud, just tap Restore from iCloud Backup. And if you have already backed up your iPhone and iTunes, just tap Restore from Mac or PC. We made a backup on iTunes before, so choose this. Connect your device to the computer again and launch iTunes. In iTunes start utilizing the backup we made earlier today. We should note that this backup is not compatible with the iOS 15. So we're going to make some changes to this backup. Press Win and R key to open the Run window. Then tape and percent user profile percent. And hit OK. Then go to Apple. Mobile Sync. Open the backup folder. Judge by last modified time. This should be the backup we created just before. Click it. Scroll down to bottom. And find the info plus file. Open it up with a notepad. Press Ctrl F to launch the search tool. Search for the word product. Find the product version. Then we're going to change it to iOS 15.0. And then go ahead and save this file. Now we can get back to iTunes. Tap Continue. Right now it's restoring iPad from backup. Then your iPad will restart. So once the restore is completed, we can set up the iPad once again. Well done. You get your data back. Okay, so that's all for today's video. If it helps, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Stay tuned for our next video.